If you want cheap Microsoft points and game codes, check out g2a.com. Link is in the description below. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a Man of the Match Menes Squad Builder. This guy cost me roughly about 240k. I think he's went down to about 230, so he's still relatively expensive, especially for an 82 rated player, but that's because he's a Man of the Match. Now, the rest of the team combined probably costs around 200k, maybe slightly cheaper, so this squad you could probably probably scrape it at 400 to 450k so by the time this video is out i'll probably say it's 400k ish but obviously that give that's give or take uh, as it always is on fifa anyway so in there we've got trap a very solid goalkeeper you could go with his old in form if you want but i've tried his in form there's not much difference this card does the job and it's very very good 1000 coins you can't really go wrong two center backs are going to probably be one of the most used center back combo uh, combos Partnerships, whatever you want to call them, on FIFA. David Luiz and Thiago Silva. Earlier, before the update, I didn't actually like these two as a pairing, but in this squad, they are fantastic. I bought Thiago Silva for 28k, probably a lot cheaper now. David Luiz, first owner, I would say 5, 10k maybe. Um, the prices are just unbelievably cheap at the minute, let's face it. On the right, we've got literally my favourite right back on the game. I've only used him once in this team. I've never used him before on FIFA and he's just phenomenal. I'll tell you why in the highlights but uh, yeah, 1,600 for Smolin Inkov. Probably get him a little bit cheaper now. He really, really is fantastic. On the left, we've got David Alaba, the highest rated normal gold left back on the game. 36k for him, probably a bit cheaper now. A lot of these players are just storing my club a buy ages ago and they're, they're just sitting there. So you'll know the prices better than me probably. Uh, then we've got upgraded Coleman. I like this silver so I thought why not try out his normal. Uh, it cost me 11k, I'm not sure if that's still what he goes for. Uh, he probably goes for about 9, 10k now so still very, very cheap. On the right, a player that I've loved in other FIFAs but I've never tried this FIFA until this squad here and it's Hulk. Two, two and a half K, I mean, four star skill moves, unbelievable stats there. You know, physical, shooting, pace, all over 85, it, it, it's just crazy. Or 85 or above, I should say, because uh, the pace is 85. Anyway, in CDM, we've got Luis Gustavo, an unreal player for very, very cheap. 83 rated, literally costs about a thousand coins, great defense, great physical. There's so many cheap beasts on this game now, just purely because of the the um, influx in packs I suppose and just the amount of packs that have been opened and you can get all these cheap players for next to nothing that are fantastic it's unbelievable Hernanez I bought him ages ago so I doubt he'll be anywhere near 3k I could be wrong nah I thought no he's literally discard value it, it's just crazy he's unbelievable and for the price you're paying it, it's crazy but anyway the striker is a bit of a controversial option I've went with Paul Pogba now I love him as a striker personally I think he's very strong I'll go through more in the highlights why I prefer well I like him as a calm but I don't like him as a centre mid just because I, I, I feel like he doesn't get involved enough and with the stats he's got you want him to get on the ball as much as possible and as a calm or a striker he works and also to give this uh, team perfect chem, I suppose, you have to have a Fran uh, French striker in Syria. You could go with Niang, there's the cheap option, but I think Paul Pogba's absolutely amazing up front. So I've stuck him there, but if you want to make it cheaper by about 100k, then just stick upgraded Niang there or Silva Niang. And uh, anyway, we'll get into the highlights. Right, so onto the team. Obviously, I've already briefly went through it, but I've got to say, player of the team is probably going to shock you, and I'm going to say it's small and ink of. The first time I've used the right back, and I'm telling you something, I'll be using him a lot more, his dribbling, his pace, his tackling, strength, just everything seems to be really, really good. I don't know why, but yeah, he's one of my best players going forward, and he can actually defend, which is very, very helpful. Uh, the two centre-backs, as I say, David Luiz, Thiago Silva, very, very solid. The first time I've used them where they've actually worked, as a partnership this FIFA, I don't know if it's the update or just the way I play. Um, Bellerin was it on the right or, uh, sorry, Bellerin on the right, I'm, I'm thinking of another squad, whoops. Alaba on the left, again, very solid, not much to say about him, everyone knows. The main talking points are Menez, uh, well, his man of the match obviously since this is a squad built around him and I've got to say, there's no no point in getting the man of the match whatsoever. His normal card feels identical and you're spending 200k plus for a minimalistic upgrade. I really would just recommend you get his normal card. It's good enough on its own. 
Pogba as a striker, as I said, I really, really do love him there. If you really don't want to use him there, then put him as a cam and just put Niang up front. Uh, the upgraded one or the silver one, it doesn't really matter. But the team is very solid. Hernanes, probably second player. Of, I'd say Pogba, Smolininkov and uh, Hernanes were my three favourite players in this team. Hernanes doesn't even... Uh, sorry, Menes doesn't even make the top three, which kind of shows why... I, I don't think he's worth the money. His normal card's good enough, and Hernanes as a cam is very, very good with Pogba up front. It, it just works, balances the team, and I highly suggest you try it out. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.